Nobody wants to lose money on ads. Why would you start a business to lose money? Nobody would do that. That's silly. And yet most people who run paid advertising campaigns on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, they lose a ton of cash every single day. And then they come to me saying, Jeremiah, help, save me, help me to not experience this anymore. And that's what I help people do. And I've been doing that for years is how to make paid advertising produce professional results that work. When the Facebook ads platform popped up on the scene, I was one of the first users of this, generated close to a million dollars, just shy of it, about $750,000 in 2009 using Facebook ads. And since then, I have gone on to help coaches, mentors, and trainers generate tens of millions of dollars using paid advertising. But here's the best part. You're like, I don't got tens of millions of dollars. I don't got time and experience like you do. Here's the thing. A lot of the people that I work with, most of them are just getting started like you are. Now, here's the thing though. And I got to tell you this. And I said this in my last video. You only want to spend how much you're willing to lose when it comes to paid ads. And, and you might be saying, well, wait, Sec. Jeremiah, I thought you said we we're going to talk about how to not lose money. I, of course, nobody wants to lose money, but you have to go to the table deciding what you're willing to lose with. And, and I liken this to gambling in a way. Facebook ads, similar to the stock market, can be a form of gambling. And for most people, it has all similar returns. But it's way more predictable than the craps table, blackjack, or poker to run Facebook ads or to trade stocks if you actually know what you're doing. My mom mentors people on doing that. I am learning how to do the stock market. But I know how to do Facebook ads really well. Okay, so all that to say, uh, for those of you who are wondering, who is this guy, got his crazy Street Fighter shirt on, all this video game stuff, looks like he's in a teenager's bedroom. Who am I? My name is Jeremiah Krakowski, and I have been helping business owners for the last 21 years exclusively full-time. It's been my main focus to scale their businesses and brands to reach millions of people from zero. And I have a system that is proven to go from virtual obscurity, nobody knows who you are, you don't have any following, you have no connections, you have no financial resources even to start with, maybe very few financial resources once you're running paid ads, to be able to scale a brand to become a household name, a industry leader, a category king, as likened in, in, in the book Play Bigger, in your niche, topic, industry, or realm. And that's one of the things, the first things that I tell everybody, you have to identify what realm you're operating in. When we think about a realm, I want you to think about this like a kingdom, okay? And, and, and for those of you that are like, kingdom entrepreneurship, no, I, listen, I'm a Christian, I don't really subscribe to the whole kingdom entrepreneurship thing. Don't crucify me for that, I just, I, I'm more of a traditional business guy, as far as that goes. But the realm concept, if you think about this, is very important. You have a realm, you have a lane. Have you ever heard that? Stay in your lane. I used to really, really resist the idea of staying in my lane for years. I didn't like it. I was like, you know what? I have so much to offer people. I have so much to put out there. I don't wanna stay in my lane. And then uh, through a journey of struggle and uh, my wife getting pregnant and us having an incredible son and me realizing, okay, I got to take this thing seriously. I'm 36 years old, uh, you know, might as well grow up a little bit. Haven't fully grown up, obviously, as you can tell. I still play video games. I still love to do those things. It helps me kind of get a little bit more creative when it comes to creating content and running Facebook ads. To be honest, I actually think I'm more effective at what I do today because of a lot of the video games that I play. And a lot of when we look at how marketing works, it's likened to a game. How many of you love board games? There's a, there's a reason why I'm talking about this related to Facebook ads. And I'm going to land this plane very quickly for you so that you understand it. Have you ever played the game Candyland? Or as I like to say, you know, uh, Big Pharma's uh, indoctrination campaign for being addicted to sugar for life. No, I'm <laughs> but what I, not, not really, but... Uh, the game of life is probably maybe a little bit of a better concept as far as this goes. Um, you follow a path, and there's a starting point, 
And there's like a finishing point as far as that goes. When you are running Facebook ads, you are moving people along a path, step by step. And the first starting place is going to be your Facebook ad, where they find you on an advertising campaign, okay? So when somebody finds you on an ad campaign, this is like they roll the dice and then they're like, they're gonna go three spaces forward. And then this could be your uh, ebook, this could be your mini course, this could be your webinar, this could be your coaching program, straight up. This could be a VSL, this could be a sales call, this could be a DM campaign or a messenger campaign. By the way, how many of y'all have heard about funnels that utilize DMs, uh, sales calls, uh, webinars, challenges, uh, eBooks, uh, mini classes, micro webinars, micro workshops, all of that stuff, right? Guess what? They all work. Uh, the problem is, is this though, is that if you're trying to do all of these things at once, you're going to have a bad time and you're going to go crash and burn because you're going to be distracted because you're not really focused on your lane. So you want to pick one of those sort of funnel concepts to start testing your initial offer with. And this is what I mentor people on in my coaching program in what, what we call the client growth accelerator program and this is not going to be a sales pitch on here Th these videos are not intended to be a sales pitch at all but i'm just going to show you over at my website jeremykrakowski.com you can click on group coaching program enrollment is now closed you can jump on the waiting list to my client growth accelerator program which is a mastermind we're actually going to probably rename this from coaching program to mastermind where we help you fast track yourself to making six and seven figures with your coaching or course or online business by having an offer that works. And that's what I work with people on every single day in my business. And that's what I have been doing pretty much exclusively throughout my whole career successfully, might I add. You have to have an offer of some kind, okay? So back to the concept of staying in your lane, candy land, the game of life. You start with an ad. And it moves people along a path. And the ultimate goal along that path is sunshine and rainbows. No, it's finances, money. And some of you might be saying, wait a sec. No, it's not. It's impact. It's helping people. It's providing value. It's giving good products and services to people. Listen, of course. Of course. What are they paying for? They're paying for something that is valuable. But the only reason that you are in business, and if we're talking about running paid advertising campaigns, we have to talk about making money. And I meet a lot of people who say, well, Jeremiah, can you just stop it with that money talk all the time? And then they want me to teach them paid advertising. I'm just like, Cuckoo, I'm sorry, but you got to, and maybe that, I'm sorry if that offended you a little bit, but <laughs> you got to talk about making money if you're going to be spending money in a campaign. Does that make sense? Okay. Because we can't, ex we can't expense finances in paid ads unless we have income coming in to replace it. And this is one of the biggest mistakes that I see that a lot of people make when it comes to their paid advertising is they're thinking about it all wrong. They're thinking about it from a concept of being an expense. Well, I don't want to spend too much on ads over here. I don't want to, you know, like as if the money's not going to come in or it's going to come back to them like five years from now. That's the old way of doing business. The new way and the new school way of doing business that we teach people that I've been mentoring people on for years is that you want to replace whatever you are spending on ads within 30 to 60 days max. And my goal is always you want to minimum double to triple the amount of money you're spending on ads within 30 days, okay? So like, I want you to think about it from that lens and that perspective, that you should not be running paid ads campaigns unless, okay, let's say you spend $500. Within four weeks, you should be 
making at least a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars in sales. Okay, and some of you might be saying, "Well, Jeremiah, that's not that's not enough to live off of. That's not even worth it. The juice isn't worth the squeeze. It's not worth the effort for that." <laughs> okay, this is this is just a concept. This is just something to a, a, a demonstration, as far as that goes. A lot of our clients, when they start to become successful, they actually don't just see double and triple the results in their ad spend. But if you're like one of my clients, Sandy, that we ran a campaign for, $10,000 in ad spend within 30 days produced $360,000 in sales. That is over a 36 times return on that investment. And so if you could spend $10,000 on a credit card, most people can open a credit card with $10,000. And this is why I would recommend pay off your debt. Pay off your consumer debts so that you can increase your credit limits because you don't want to be spending cash to run your ads. You don't want to be cash strapped. You want to be spending credit to run your ads. But I'm going to be one of the first people that you hear that tells you this because most people don't want to tell you something that might get you more into debt. If you don't know how to manage your debt, you got to be careful with this, of course. And we have methods that we teach when it comes to organic and not spending money and things like that. Maybe you're thinking, eh, I don't want to spend any money on ads now. Listen, then this video is not for you. The rest of this video is only about spending money on ads at this point. Go watch some of our other videos if you're not wanting to spend any money on ads. For the rest of you, opening up the ability to have flex in your finances by having some form of capital in the form of, say, credit or credit cards of some kind can be a great way to flex so that then you might be able to spend $500 on ads to test to see is a campaign working or not to bring in those results. But what do you actually test with? Well, let's talk about that. And I want to talk about what's actually going to determine the difference between you making zero or negative returns, right? Most people that I meet, a lot of people that I meet in the beginning working with them, they have negative returns. Maybe they've spent a lot of money on ads and they've lost a lot of money. Has that been your story? I'm so sorry if that's the case. But there's a difference between the people who are making zero returns, the people who are making two to three X returns. I know quite a few of these people right here and they're happy with it. But if you're like me, I, I, I honestly don't accept anything less than about an eight, eight times return on my ad, ad campaigns. For every dollar that I spend, I need to bring in at least eight back because that allows me to have the finances that I need to pay for staff to pay for the lifestyle that I want to live. And it allows me to create the business that I want to create. So what I look for is between an eight to a, the best we've ever gotten is again, a 36 X return right here. Okay. That's the best that I've gotten within 30 days. Within um, about six months though. And, and, and by the way, just those of y'all that are preaching high ticket and we're talking about high ticket. There's a bit of, there might be a longer lead in time with that. Depends on what model you're using. As you optimize it, you could get setters and closers and do so very quickly within 30 days. What we have seen when it comes to maybe even using high ticket is we have had upwards of 81 to 120 X return. Meaning for every dollar we spend on ads, we were able to bring in $120 back within six months. And that's incredible. And that's a true business right there. That's massively capitalistic. That is very profitable. And it's basically a license to print money at that point. But this takes a lot of time. Uh, usually, it's going to take you 18 to 36 months of testing to get to this point right here. Okay? In my experience. Most people don't have the grit to get there. And that's why most people don't make seven and eight figures in their business. That's, that's what this level is, is where for every dollar spent, maybe we spend a campaign that's $10,000 and we make 1.2 million off of that campaign. And we've seen those numbers happen. But I wanna just make this practical for most of you. Maybe you just wanna make 5,000, 10,000. 
$20,000 a month in your business, right? Something you can live off of, something that you can show to a lender to buy a house in a metropolitan area in the United States of America. My wife and I were able to, to buy this beautiful house that we live in. We have an incredible, uh, luxurious pool and spa in our backyard. And we were able to purchase it with the income from our business because of doing this model right here. But the problem is that most people are stuck at zero. And I'm not talking here to brag about my own life because I want you to experience this for your life as well. But it's a pipe dream for most people. Most people are incapable of getting past this level right here. And unfortunately, that's most people that are watching this video right now. You will watch this video and you will still try to run ads and you will never get past this point right here. Why? Your own choice. It's your own choice. Whether you get to here or here or eventually to here. And maybe that's not what you want to hear today. Maybe you want to blame the algorithm. Maybe you want to blame a coach that you had. Maybe you want to blame a bad system. No, it's all about our own choices. And it boils down to one thing and one thing only that determines whether we get a return on our ads. And it's letting go of the fear of other people's opinions. It's letting go of what other people think about us. Trying to look good all the time to everybody in our life. And perfectionism is the number one reason why most people lose money on their paid ads campaigns. That probably wasn't what you thought I was going to say. And I understand that. And it might be a message that you are resisting right now as I say it. You may even check out, log off, and never listen to a thing that I say again because of that. Because it challenges everything that you ever thought you knew about life and business. But in my experience in 21 years, looking at thousands of business owners that I've worked with, the number one thing that leads people to making zero when it comes to their business and actually being profitable with their ads is always perfectionism. It's always being worried about people disliking them, having to do everything as they should, needing to follow best practices to a T all the time, making their website look fancy, making all their branding look good, making their brand look incredible, presenting themselves in a way that is extremely incredible as far as that goes. I'm sorry to say this, that produces z -z -z zip zero when it comes to your ads. In fact, it works against you almost every single time. And this is why most of the people that I meet, they just, when they can't understand this concept, it's almost guaranteed I can tell. I'm like, well, you're not going to make any money. And it's not that I'm a prophet of doom declaring that over them. I'd love to see them grow past this way of thinking in order to be profitable. Maybe you're a cut, cut, measure twice, cut once type of person. Maybe you're a planner. Maybe you need to know how everything is in front of you. Can I tell you this? Running ads is a risk. Of course it is. You're not going to always have certainty as to how it, it goes. But one of the most surest ways to make sure that your ads actually work is to grow past the need for other people's approval. Because in fact, what you're looking for when it comes to running ad campaigns is you're looking for disapproval far more often then you're looking for approval. And this might sound counterintuitive and you may not understand this right now. I'm gonna explain it to you in as simple terms as possible. Is that the only way that you can actually get the algorithm on social media to give you successful ads is to repel like a magnet, you know, when a magnet pushes away peep, like the other magnet, you need to repel and your campaign needs to inspire and incite disapproval from the people who are the most unlikely. And how can we be so arrogant to assume that they're unlikely to spend money with us? Well, maybe from your perspective, that is arrogant. And I understand. And, 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 and you might be watching this right now and, 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 
and this is just this this is rubbing you the wrong way. I get it. Can I encourage you to open your mind to what will actually produce the result that you're looking for? And it might be something that you have never heard before. You want your ads to show up in front of people that will spend money with you. Most people who run ads, their ads are showing up in front of the wrong people. So they're spending all of this money on ads to get their ad in front of people that are never going to spend money with them. If I was selling hair care and I was marketing it and all my ads kept appearing in front of men with nice bald heads, right? I got, I got hair on my head. I, I'm, I'm almost sort of jealous sometimes of some guys, they got this, they look really good bald. I'm like, man, you, you look great, dude. But what if you were running a hair care line and you were running all your ads to <laughs> guys with bald hair? I'm sure they're great people. But you don't want your ad running in front of them. The problem is that most people are creating their ads campaigns in a way that ends up targeting the wrong people. And they do so, and it has nothing to do with the ads manager at all. It has everything to do with how they communicate what they actually do and deliver with their product or service. And this is where the approval of other people part comes in. Is because oftentimes when I meet people, they're like, well, Jeremiah, clearly I'm not that silly to run hair care to bald men. Of course not. Like, what? who do you think I am? <laughs> okay. Of course not. That was an extreme example. And maybe it was a bad example as far as that goes. But here's what I see people do often. And it's actually a mistake that I made in my business. So what I do is I help people put together online campaigns using Facebook ads to sell more of what they sell online. The problem is, is if that's how I described what I actually did to people, I would be attracting about 95% of people that I don't actually want to work with. If I ran an ad campaign that said, hey, want to run Facebook ads to sell anything online? I can show you how. 95% of the people who would sign up for that campaign would not be the people that I want to work with. And you might be saying, well, Jeremiah, you're turning away good green money. Not all money that is green is good. You need to change that thinking and realize that you want to become very specific as to where you are receiving the money from. Because if you're trying, if you're desperate for money, just like a, you know, a teenage boy is desperate for a, a, a prom date. It's unfortunately how I see a lot of business owners today. They act like a teenage boy who is desperate to get the, to get the, the hot date and he'll do just about anything to get the attention of somebody who's out there. That's not going to make you any money and people can read the desperation on you and they'll take advantage of it. And that's what most coaches and mentors are doing is they're saying, I just want attention. Give me some attention. Just look at me. Just, and they try to, and they try to make themselves more attractive on the outward to get more attention. And it produces no results. In fact, it hurts you more than anything else when it comes to running ads. The most important part of making sure that your ads don't lose money has nothing to do with how you look. It has to do with the words that you are saying. Okay? What you can actually do is you can use your appearance to repel the people that you don't want to work with. So for me, I actually have designed my set in order to repel the people that I don't want to work with. There's an entire market of coaches, mentors, and trainers out there that will not want anything to do with me because I play video games. They find it to be an egregious divorce of discipline. And it shows a sign of a lack of trustworthiness in me, the fact that I play video games according to them. And maybe you're watching this right now and that's exactly what you're thinking. 
That is by design, on purpose, because I know that if that is the, the, that is the deep thought that somebody has about me, there is a 0% chance that I will be able to close them or even help them produce a result in their business because they are more concerned with doing everything perfect in life than actually getting results. And that's exactly what I'm teaching you right here is you have to get rid of your thoughts and concepts around perfectionism in order to make things work. And this, do, this dials right into the words that we said. So what it is is your appearance, oftentimes you want it to be more simple. Use a very simple landing page, something that's not super fancy. Design your graphics in Canva. All of my landing pages in my website, we use Squarespace. I use very simple photographs. These are old photos of me even right here. And I haven't updated them. And yet it still sells and makes us seven figures. Here's a simple landing page right here. It's a photo of my wife and I. It's an outdated photo of us. But you know what? It gets hundreds of people every single month that opt in to get these chat GPT prompts right here. Why? Because it works. And if I spent more time and effort to make things look better, it would actually produce less financial returns for me. And you have to understand that concept. You have to understand the concept that putting so much energy into looking pro is a recipe for guaranteed loss when it comes to your Facebook ads. And most people, for some reason, they got something deep inside of them, it's some indoctrination by some voice that they were educated by that has told them the opposite of what I'm telling you right now and they hold to it so tightly that they would rather lose money than ever look less professional on the internet. My clients who actually trust what I'm saying and start to apply it and are willing to take a risk at, at, at and, and I'm not talking about making your character look bad. I'm just talking about not worrying so much about how you look on the outside. And focusing more on what are the words that you're saying and how are you communicating these words. And that's what we love to use artificial intelligence for to help us brainstorm some of those words to help us communicate better with our target client. So what it is is there are words that you put in your ad. Okay. These are written words. There are also words and generally we love to run video ads. There's words that you say spoken in a video ad. You might also use a graphic ad that has words on it. The words that are written, the words that are spoken, and the words that are on a graphic, these are what determine who the ad is shown to about 30% of the equation, okay? The other 70% of the equation, and this is, by the way, the part that most people don't even look at. Don't even spend time looking at. They avoid, they make it the last thing that they concern themselves with, oftentimes. It's the words that are on their landing page. The page that you're sending people from the ad. And you might say, well, Jeremiah, I don't really understand a lot of concepts when it comes to landing pages. I'm not really good at making them look good and all of that. It goes right back to what I just told you in the beginning here. Tr concerning yourself about making your landing page look good is a misappropriated focus on what is actually effective when it comes to your business. And this is one of the services that we, have, we actually provide people over at my website, over in my coaching program, as well as my one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you want to coach with me one-on-one. -on -one. The, the cost of this is $55,000 and we work with you to put together your landing page and make sure that your ads are converting and make sure that things work. You know, I've had a lot of people, they ask me, Jeremiah, can you just run my ads for me? And I look at their landing page and I'm like, well, you're gonna have to change this. And they're like, well, I'm not gonna change it. I just need you to run my ads. And I tell them I'm not going to help you unless I can do a whole overhaul of your messaging and structure of your offer and communication. And so your offers, messaging and structure, 
need to be optimized for the type of person that you're looking to reach. And so this is what matters more than anything else when it comes to you running paid ads, making sure that they produce the best result for you. Now there's a last part of this, that when you dial in your landing page, when you create that structure, and one of the best ways to find the best structure that's out there, just go click on some other people's ads on social media. <gasps> what if I cost them money? That's not how the Facebook ads manager works. It actually doesn't cost them anything for you to go on Facebook and click on people's ads. I can literally just scroll right here on my social media. It's actually, it's not showing me any ads right now. Oh, it's because I'm on my uh, page. Got to go to my profile. Here we go. So if I click on just any, any old ad, I have no idea who this is. He's, he's teaching me how to get a bunch of TikTok followers. Cool. This is a landing page right here. If I click on another landing page right here, this shows me an offer from somebody. And so as you scroll social media, you can find offers from different business owners that are out there. Again, I don't know who these people are. I'm literally just clicking on the first ads that pop up on my screen. Okay. You can find offers that are being ran in your market. There's a way to actually tune the algorithm so that your news feed starts to show you ads from your competitors. And so the idea is this. Some of you are like, well, I don't want to copy my competitors. This is why you have to get over the worry and fear of what other people think about you, people coming after you, people not liking what you're doing. Because at the end of the day, looking at what your competitors are doing in their marketing is one of the best things that you can do. It's called funnel hacking. You're not copying their funnel. By the way, I encourage everybody to just copy what I do if you want to be successful. <laughs> Please do. And in fact, I, I think it's the best thing you can do is to copy everything that I do and then just change it for your offer. But the best way to know what works when it comes to running ads is to look at what ads are already being ran in the feed and then to look at what ads your competitors are running. How are they structuring their messaging? How do they have the structure of their funnel developed? And then to start to fill in the gaps, rewrite a lot of it, you can use AI to help you rewrite a lot of other landing pages that are out there. There's a whole, I'll do a whole training on that. It would take me like 40 minutes just to kind of show you that side of things. But that's how we help develop and we work with our clients every single day to develop the best offers is by taking existing funnels, existing landing pages, and then filtering in their offers their strategies, their ideas into them. And then they start selling and they start working. And the people that I know that actually make the most amount of money, this is what they do. The ones who struggle, they're trying to be too original because they're so concerned about looking smart, sounding smart, making people like them and pleasing other people. And when people pleasing is your main priority in life, you will lose money with your business. You have to divorce the approval of other people for you to be able to succeed when it comes to being a coach, mentor, trainer, and running Facebook ads online. Now, there's a last part of this that I can go into and, 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 and I think it's important for me to just touch on real briefly before we close this video out, is obviously getting leads and getting people to sign up on a landing page, that's all great, fine and dandy, but that's not gonna turn into sales for most people. You have to sell and you have to learn how to sell and you have to learn how to communicate. And you have to learn how to use words to get people to take action and to exchange money with you. That can happen on a landing page. That can also happen in your email sequence. That can happen on a webinar. That happens in your ebook. Most of you are thinking about your offers were all wrong. You're focused on providing value so that you look good to everybody instead of realizing that your offer does twofold. Not only does it provide value, but it is also a promotional tool to be able to promote what your best offers are. And so if you're not promoting your offers in all of your content, in all of the things that they sign up for, you are missing it completely. I meet people, they have books that they have poured hours into and there's not even a mention of a way to connect later or to buy a course or to do anything in the book. Why? Because they don't wanna seem salesy. I don't wanna look like one of those people. That's a fear of how you look to other people that is stopping you from being successful manifested in most authors that I meet. 
Most people who launch a mini course are terrified to even suggest that somebody connect with them later in another offer or to pay them money. And when you can challenge whatever that thing is inside of you, whatever you're trying to avoid that is getting you to not ask for the sale, to not ask people to take action. You know, I boldly mentioned to you that you can work with me and get a VIP day for $55,000. And I am zero concerned if that offends or repels anybody. In fact, I want it to. And I'm telling you to jump on the waiting list for my coaching program to work with me so that we can help upgrade you to be able to make your ads, to dial in your messaging, and to put all this together where I get to jump in, join your team, work with you, help you craft your sales messaging, help you put together your sales copy, your landing pages, your offers, your ads, how you do your sales pitch, and all of that, we're gonna, we got you covered. We got courses in there, we got live trainings, we have hot seat events, we have multiple brand new things. We're restructuring even the members area to make it literally a thousand times easier to follow everything that we teach inside of there. We're not removing any of the content, but we're reorganizing it literally this week. We're putting it all together so that it is so much simpler to follow and to learn everything from. And that's why I encourage you to at least jump on the waiting list for our accelerator program so that you don't have to go about this on your own. Listen, you could go about this on your own. Totally. I get it. But I think it would be better for you to join and come along, work with somebody like me to come alongside you and hold your hand along the way. So get on the waiting list for our accelerator program. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. We're going to be posting a ton of videos here coming up. I'm excited to do this. I did this years ago where I was just doing a bunch of live trainings like this for a while. And we're going to break down concepts. And so if there's something that you want me to teach, that you want to learn in these videos and these live trainings, and you want me to break down for you, leave it in the comments below. And I will go ahead and we're, we're going to start literally building video content based on your requests as far as that goes. So I'm excited to, to, to kind of turn this YouTube channel into sort of your, uh, your first step with working with me in your business. I do think whether you're watching these YouTube videos or not, every single person, if you've gotten to this point of the video, needs to jump into the accelerator, needs to join the waiting list for this. But what we're doing is we're turning this YouTube channel into kind of the starting phase for most people to get those foundations established so that you can start to make the kind of money that you want to make so that you can start to see the results that you want. And this concept right here, if you can start to understand this, that all roads lead to dialing in your messaging and offer structure on your landing page, this is what actually determines whether your ads work or not more than anything else. It's 70% of the equation and it has almost nothing to do with the ads manager targeting. We use lookalike audiences to target our audience. We use AI audiences that actually find our audience for us. The artificial intelligence on Facebook, Instagram, and all these paid platforms are very intelligent at finding the right people that should work with us. And that's what we work with you through is how to dial that in in our accelerator program. So again, make sure, keep watching these videos. Share it with somebody, and I'll see you on the next one. We'll talk soon.